Stone kitchen, but this is going to make pies for you. All right, you have to put the ingredients in, right? But whether it's a quiche or a two crust apple pie or your famous pumpkin pie, you are going to be able to make it in this electric pie maker, not just, oh, hold on a second. This one's latched. Um, not a little pie maker, not a mini pie maker a full nine inch pie maker, electric. You plug it in, it bakes it for you in a fraction of the time, $49.95. This is on sale. This is your day to get it. It's We're heading into pie season. You get black, you get red, or you get white. And you, we're showing you so many different pies you can make. There's a quiche. Um, this was actually inspired by your shop in LA, I understand, chef. Oh, we sure did. I mean, we made pies for the whole pandemic because we had to close our restaurant. And I said, you know what? We're going to make pies because everybody needed a hug during that time. And I was like, a pie is a bit like a hug. So look at the size of it. I'm going to put my hand next to it just so you can see. Actually, let's go to the overhead shot, Walker, so everyone can see. See how the size of, I've, like I mentioned earlier, huge hands. This is a really big pie container, right? A big pie maker. So you, we send you home with a cutter so you don't have to guess at how big it is. You cut one piece of pastry or pie dough that size, flip it over, and then you cut another piece on the other side. So you remove those two pieces like that. You take the one with the cuts in it, the first piece, the bigger piece, and you stick that in the bottom of the pan, right? You don't have to make it all nice. You just stick it in there just like that. Then you take your pie mix. Now, this could be plum, it could be berry, it could be cherry, it could be peach, it could be apple, it could be sausage, it could be chicken, it could be beef. There's so many types of delicious pies to make, and we developed that over the, uh, the years of the pie maker. You throw this piece on top. It doesn't have to look perfect. You close it down. You know why? Because this does all of the crimping and the shaping and the cutting in there for you. Let me show it to you. And it takes, a, it takes um, see how it's cut the edge of the pastry? It's crimped the edge of the pie. So it now will look like a perfect homemade pie. You don't have to remove it, just leave it. Close it, clear, clamp it, and come back to this. Oh, yes. I mean, you can wow. see it right there. And I think I've got, um, it's, isn't that crazy? So this is the same apple pie. It takes about, what is it, Rochelle, 30 minutes? Yeah. It's in for about 30. I'm gonna cut myself a nice big wedge of that pie. And then, by the way, that is my nylon knife and my nylon pie lifter. They are also available. They're beautiful tools and allow you to cut directly into the nonstick. I'm gonna go on in, get myself a big old fat piece of that pie. Oh, yes, baby. <laughs> wow. I love pie as much as you do, Shannon. I tell you what, that is delicious. Oh my goodness. I'm just, I'm pouring over the recipes here. Banana cream pie. I actually mm. just made a banana cream pie, but I didn't have the pie maker to help me. I'm looking here. How do we do that with a cream filling? So I get that we, if you, oh, even yeah. if you just have mm. a pumpkin pie and you want just one crust, you can do that and then you can fill it and it will bake it and, and of course cook the crust. But if you're doing a cream pie, you just bake the crust in here and then fill it. Sorry, Shannon, I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so, we've got a bad connection. You can't, you can't hear me mm. over the over the mmms and mmms and ahs. It's the, the angels singing. It's, <sighs> I mean, when you have a bite of beautiful warm pie, it just makes you happy. Someone said to me, you can never be mad when you're eating an ice cream. And I said, you can never be mad when you're eating a slice of pie either, because that's just the truth. I've got a pecan pie. I've got a quiche. I've got a beautiful pastry shell. Let me jump down here because you asked me that question, Shannon. Let me show it to you. By the way, you'll just use a little tool like this. You just give it a little push and you'll take that pie shell out, oh. right? Now have a look at the crust. Look how gorgeous and golden that crust. This happens every time. It's not by magic. Then you stick that in and then you fill it with whatever custard you want because that's what a, a pie, um, a cream pie is. You start with that creme patissier or that custard, that set custard. You can buy it or you can make it. You can make it banana flavored. I'm doing a chocolate cream pie here. Mm. You asked about the, the chocolate, the banana cream pie. I'm doing a chocolate one. And then of course you just top that 
with a little bit of fresh whipped cream. And when I say a little bit, don't be stingy. I mean, get it on there. <laughs> um, but I would always leave a little bit of the visual of that chocolate pie. So, I mean, look at what we just did. And I think I've got some melted, some grated chocolate to go over as a garnish. Or you can use some beautiful mint. I've got a little bit of uh, micro um, herbs. I've got mint and basil in my herbs there, which is also absolutely delicious. So that's how you do a cream pie. Let me show you the pecan pie, though. I've gone ahead and I've got... Again, my nylon knife and lifter. I'm gonna go ahead and cut straight into this pecan pie. This is still hot and fantastic, you guys. Oh my goodness, there is nothing better than a piece of homemade pie. Let me cut another piece as well. One for you, Rochelle. You like uh, pe pecan pie. In mm. fact, you introduced me to pecan pie, Rochelle. If you remember, it was about 120 years ago. At least it feels like it sometimes. Oh. Look at that beautiful pecan pie. A little dollop of cream, oh yes. And um, now, now you're going to have to talk for the next five minutes. I'm so sorry, Shannon. Well, they knew enough not to give me a fork out here. They just put some pies out here. Um, this is the way that you can, I mean, hey, you, it can take as long as you want. If you want to make your own crust, of course you can. You can just buy that crust from, from Frozen, and this will make that for you, whether it's a two-crust pie, maybe it's your cream pie. If it's a chicken pot pie, it could be savory, it could be egg. Honestly, this is going to cook it for you completely nonstick. It crimps it, you even have the pie crust cutter right here. It's gonna cut it to the perfect size. Then you just get to fill it with whatever you want. So exciting. $49.95, you choose red, you choose white, you choose black. It even tells you, that little light, it reminds me of how easy it is to kind of cook a waffle, right? It's like cooking a pie as easy it is, as it is to cook a I waffle. It just kind of lets you know when the light changes that it's ready. And we're getting that recipe book that gives us ideas. That's where I got the chicken pot pie idea. I was like, oh my goodness. All right, now I'm, I'm set. I can eat pie. Uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Well, you sure can. I mean, look, I've done a quiche. So this isn't just for pies. Again, you use a store-bought um, base or dough. You can use a pie crust. You can buy it from all supermarkets. Joy, thank you so much. I've got that beautiful little uh, slice of quiche. You can see how thick it is. And, of course, one of the great things about this pie maker is the cleanup is virtually non-existent. Let me cut another slice out. Now, I'm cutting giant slices just so it happens a little quick. And you know what? I'll lift the whole half out. To clean this out, you guys, all you're going to do is grab yourself a towel. You're going to go on in and give it a real quick wipe. And in no time, you've got a spotless little pie maker. Ooh, I love that. Isn't you know that what crazy? else? You know what else? When you cook pie and you're in, and you're cooking other savory dishes, if you've got Brussels sprouts in the oven, you've got you know your turkey in the oven, your pie ends up tasting like that. This is going to get your pie cooked perfectly um, faster, and you know that it's going to be just right. All right, there are so many reasons for you to love this. I'm just going to break it down for you. So many reasons to love. First of all, it has the name, Chef Curtis Stone. So you know the quality is gonna be there. Uh, here's a reason to love, pie. How about that? Pie, cooked to perfection. Whether you make your own crust or you buy it already made, frozen, you just roll it out and it even includes the cutter. You're gonna love that you can make cream pies, that you can make two crust pies, that you can make savory pies like quiche and chicken pot pie. You're gonna love that it comes in three colors in red and white and black. And by the way, did I mention? You're gonna love it because pie. All right, that's just a few of the reasons I know you're gonna love it. All right, we've been cooking, we've been having a great time getting you all ready for your holiday head start. But if you wanna shop anything that you missed or any additional items from Chef Curtis Stone, go to hsn.com, type in Curtis Stone. It will take you right there to his smiling face and you will be able to shop to your heart's content. A lot of items have been selling out because he had an incredible today special yesterday. We curated uh, a special set of items to have in this, um, in this special show and he's got, oh, maybe one more quick show before he goes but we will be sold out of the pot stickers will be sold out of the meatballs will probably be sold out of the panka crusted shrimp we might give you another look at that so as you're shopping if you want to get that pie maker home maybe you want to get it home for $9.95 apply for an HSN card we'll give you $40 off on your first purchase and for everybody who spends $75 or more we ship it all to you for free so this is the set actually this is the set that I just got because